Hey, good morning, Julie. Day four out of 10 here on the Jester's Redemption Hike Challenge. This is fantastic. You are on day four. When you get back to the trailhead tomorrow, you will officially be halfway through this challenge. So that is exciting. Let me tell you something. I have been reading the comments that people have been leaving you. This is having an even bigger impact on people than I thought it was because I told you, I said, you need to do this because this is what people want. People like hearing a comeback story because people can vicariously live through you and that's what they are doing. I am reading the comments people are sending you. This is bigger than you. This is bigger than just a hike, just a challenge. This, what you're doing, this represents the idea of getting back to where you used to be. So many people can relate to, I used to be here, I used to be fit and in shape and I could do all these things and then life happened and I just, I fell off the horse. But you are a representation, you are a tangible human being who is doing exactly what everyone wants to do. You have gotten back on the horse, you've put in the work and you're showing that everyone can do this. You're doing it right freaking now. Day four. It's super exciting to watch. It's inspiring people who are watching me included. You are doing it. You are actually showing people that, yes, you can get back to where you used to be. I'm doing it and so can you. And that is what this hike represents. And it's becoming even bigger than we imagined it would be. This is awesome. Keep it up. Day four out of 10, have a good time in the woods. Enjoy the trees, enjoy the birds, enjoy the squirrels. That's what this is all about. Enjoy the journey. I can't wait to hear all about it. All right, y'all, welcome back to the podcast. (laughs) I am out of breath. I just topped the hill for the first time today on this fourth day of Jester's Redemption Section Hike, 10 days, five miles a day for a total of 50 miles. And that's right, people, we are on day four. I just did my mile warm-up. I just hit the crest of the top of the hill. And now I'm working my way around, which is another mile, down to the base of the hill to go up again, not once. Go around again, go up a third time. Go around again. And then head on back to the truck for day four. Y'all, could you tell I'm excited? All right. How was that message from James? Right in the beginning, he got me fired up. And I love putting these as the intros uh, to each one of these daily audio vlogs. It just seems right. And I'm gonna be honest with y'all, James and I didn't know we were gonna do this. I had no idea James was gonna send me daily messages. And then I reached out to him and said, listen, I wanna throw these in the show. And they just seem perfect at the very beginning. Um, But y'all, today is a day of being thankful. It's a day of confessions because something happened to me yesterday that I need to talk to y'all about. I need to be honest with y'all about. And uh, that's what we're gonna talk about today. But you guys came at it again with the inspirational messages. And I'm gonna try to walk and talk here. I've got my glasses on, my readers. And uh, the first message comes from Ginger. This was on Instagram. Ginger says, hey Jester, the work you're putting in is inspirational. I know things are hard. It can be a restart, even the things you love. Plus you're giving to so many people through your podcast and other production work, it can be hard to have anything left for yourself. 
So stay focused and keep going. You deserve the joy this brings you. Thank you, Ginger. I truly appreciate it. And uh, I'm going to have to stop here, y'all, so I can read the rest of these. Um, and Ginger is right. Part of what I wanted to talk to y'all about yesterday, what happened yesterday is I had all this joy. I was enjoying the trail. It did. I almost self-sabotaged myself. But um, we'll get into that in here in uh, just a second. Uh, the second message, how y'all doing? Um, comes from Sarah Williams. She says, ah, I loved day three. Hearing all the people that you're inspiring gets me so fired up. Keep moving forward, crush day four. Thank you, Sarah. That is the plan. And y'all, Sarah is part of the Seek to Do More program. I believe, if I remember correctly, Sarah has been doing this for over a year and she has lost over 60 pounds and she is a uh, beast, a weightlifting beast. That's all I'm going to say. Sarah Williams, you got it. Another message came in this morning on Instagram from Lisa. Lisa says, you are inspiring me to come up with a challenge for my pup and me. Lisa, 100%, you should do it. Come join me. You could start tomorrow. It'll be your day one, my day five. Another message uh, that I got on the comments in YouTube, because I do put the audio version of the show out on YouTube as well, uh, the Julie Gayhart YouTube channel. This one comes from Pleasant Fiction. And uh, Pleasant Fiction, a.k.a. Bill, is uh, a fellow North Carolinian. Uh, he did the 40-day hikes on the Mountains of Sea Trail. And, uh, yeah, he's an avid uh, section hiker. He says, I love this. Great to hear from you. Excited you are out hiking. I had some heavy struggles of my own in 2023 and had to drag myself out of it starting this January. So I identify with the feeling of getting back out there. Fired up. Isn't it wonderful? Wishing you the best on your journey and you sound ready. And how can you not with that motivational message in the intro? I listened to them twice. Happy trails. You got this. Thank you, Bill. Truly appreciate it. Another email I got this morning. Oh, we got to fly over. Actually, where I'm at, I am about 10 minutes from the Charlotte Douglas International Airport. So if y'all hear planes go over, that is why. This message came from Nakati this morning in my email. It says, hey, Jester, I just wanted to shoot you some encouragement for your hike and listening to your vlogs encourages me. I love the idea of talking more about local trails as well. So thank you, Nakati. I truly appreciate it. I'm gonna take these glasses off. I'm gonna put my sunglasses back on and I am gonna get back to hiking. But y'all, yesterday, I don't know what happened. Um, I am my number one self-critic. That is what happened. And had a great day yesterday out on the trail. I just got done recording from the bench. And then I started walking back to pick up my medicine ball to carry to the truck. I did all that. I got to the truck. And y'all, on the way home, I began to doubt myself. I started like saying, what are you doing? These 10 days are nothing but a data point and the data is showing that your foot starts getting sore about four miles and you're going five miles. And the really big thing that hit me yesterday was telling myself, you're not gonna be able to hike the Allegheny Trail. Why did you tell all these people you're gonna be going to the Allegheny Trail? Now you're gonna have to backtrack. Now you're gonna have to say, well, I'm not ready. Now you're gonna have to say, well, I, I can't do this. And it went on and on <laughs> in my brain. Th this is me to myself. And on one shoulder, I had joy of the day that it was Easter and on the other shoulder, I was tearing myself apart. And I sent James a message and I said, had a good day, yada, yada. And then I sent him another text right after that and said, if I'm being honest, I've got joy and self-sabotage at the same time. And y'all, James sent me these series of text messages and he was like, that's part of the Seek to Do More program, over overcoming challenges, pushing through things when things are still hard. 
you know, that's life is pretty much what he told me. Like every, you know, everybody experiences that in some kind of way. And I was like, you're right. I'm going to push through it. I'm going to knock self-doubt off at the knees. Actually, I'm going to rip it off at the knees. And even though I was still thinking this stuff, I continued to do what I said I was going to do yesterday. I did my exercises. I did my cool down regime. I grilled out. I had a really good meal. And I rested. And took care of myself. And stretched. And rolled out the bottom of both of my feet, not just the one foot. And still, last night, before I went to bed, I was like, I'm going to do this challenge. But I'm not sure what's going to happen after this challenge. And that is another thing that I do to myself. So I struggle terribly of being in the moment. Of enjoying, like I don't know if y'all could hear these birds, enjoying the birds. Enjoying, put you know, reaping the reward of the work that I've put in over the last few months. Of dreaming, of getting back out on the trail and hiking day after day. That's what I wanted. And it's what I'm doing. And I don't know why I do this. And the only thing I can think of is I am a work in progress. <laughs> That's all I can say. I am a total work in progress and went to bed last night. I was feeling fine. I knew, I know I'm going to complete this challenge and I knew things were going to get tough and I just didn't know it was going to hit me yesterday on Easter of all days. The devil struck me on Easter, but I continued through. I didn't let it get to me and James, you know, he's like, listen, you have to overcome hard. And I'm used to this. And I don't, I've lost it. I don't, I don't know what's happened. And James would tell me right now, if he and I were talking on the trail, you haven't lost it. You are just becoming who you are. You're transforming. And I understand that. And like I said, I am my own critic. And <laughs> I came out of it. Um, this morning I woke up, I was renewed, I had a great night's sleep, and I'm not going to let that happen to me today. And the attack came at me yesterday in my own brain out of nowhere. Um, and I guess that's just how the devil works. Um, I guess it's just how life is. And we all get attacked in different areas, and I'm just not going to let it do it. So now I recognize it, and if it hits me again over these next six days, then I know where to strike it at the knees. I know I need to keep moving forward. I know I can do this. And yes, I know these days are data points and they're good data points. Okay, you've strengthened up to this point. Your foot is able to tolerate four strong miles, four and a half strong miles, and then your foot starts getting tired. Okay, we could work with that. What do we need to do? What's the plan? What's happening? And we have data to move forward. And that is the way I'm looking at it now. And y'all, I am just a work in progress. That's all I'm going to say. So <laughs> I just wanted to let y'all know and be honest with you about that. I am on the struggle bus. Even though I'm out here doing this challenge, Everything is still struggling, but my mental capacity is able to overcome and stomp it down eventually after I work through it. And I've heard many, many messages uh, from preachers that have said, you can't go around it, you can't go over it, you can't go under it, you got to go through it. So yesterday, it just so happened to be on Easter, I went through it. And we got through it. And so this morning, uh, while I was reflecting, doing some stretches, and getting ready to come out today, this popped in my head out of nowhere. My students, I always tell them to dress for the job you want. Dress for the day. Dress for the moment. Dress for what you want. Don't come to school in your pajamas if you want to, you know, 
be a business person, be an entrepreneur, work at a corporate office, work at Google, whatever you want to do, be a YouTuber, whatever. Dress for the moment that you want. And so today is the first day I have put on my hiking clothes since I tried them on in December and got all twisted up, all upset, called James, told him I wanted to lose weight. And it's all been so much more than that. So I went into my hiking room and I opened the closet and I got out my favorite shirt. I got out my favorite hiking shorts. I got out everything because I'm dressing for the moment that I want. And that moment is to be full on hiker Julie on the trail, absorbing everything the trail has to offer. And I got to win. So I was scared to put all this outfit because it didn't fit. I mean, I could get the shorts on, pretty much had to lay on the bed and snap the button. That was in December. This morning, the shorts went on, buttoned them up, pulled up the zipper, put my belt on, win. Now they're still snug, but when I continue to lose weight, that will change as well. But the true test was putting on my favorite button down Columbia women's PFG, I think, performance fishing gear shirt that I wear hiking that I love. And the last time I put this on, it buttoned, but I mean, literally, you could see my white stomach like hanging out and I wasn't even sitting down. Put it on and there's room. So I am hiking in my win outfit. Starting today and every day I'm out on the trail because there's nothing like putting clothes on that didn't fit and you put them on. Now, the shirt, I, I, I need some more room, so I'm gonna continue to lose weight. Not gonna lie about that. But I'm not embarrassed to walk around in it anymore. I wouldn't have worn it in December anywhere. Um, so, we are making major wins and we're moving forward. And I'm not gonna let sabotage Julie get to me today. But if she does, I'll confess tomorrow. But I'm gonna knock her out at the knees. And y'all, I am working my way back around to the bottom of the hill. And we're gonna go up again. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Day four is gonna be in the books here in a few miles. And uh, we will be back tomorrow. But until then, enjoy yourselves. Be safe out there, everybody. And happy section hiking.